Today, we're doing one of the most popular desserts of all time. That's right. Break out your trusty old kitchen torch. <laughs> and then get ready to crack into a crunchy sugar topping. Into a layer of luscious vanilla custard. Luscious. Oh, boy. I, this it's is so, one of my favorites. It so has good. been since I was tiny. So oh, let's get going. That with crack. It. It's, a, it's, it's all about that crack. And then get into that luscious yeah. custard. OK, I've got three cups of heavy cream here. And I'm putting this into a medium size. A saucepan and I'm going to put this over medium medium high heat uh, we want to just bring this to a simmer wow so let's talk vanilla oh yes so I've got a vanilla bean here everybody isn't that exciting <laughs> and so I'm, exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take out half of this hopefully you all can see it and I don't well, you really only need about an inch of the bean yes but I'm gonna cut into it so that I can get inside it and here we go well it worked one way here let me do it okay. this way yeah, yeah. <laughs> You there just kind of, I've when I do this sometimes, I just use if you got some little fingernail, you can just pry it open, just make sure your hands are clean. You got those amazing beans in there that but are But I don't so want to do that, Chris. I know you I'm do it, you do it, it the balloon way. <laughs> Everybody can see that. So the vanilla bean, you've all we've all had the vanilla bean ice cream. It's delicious. It's so great. I think it gives a really nice, wonderful depth of flavor. Yes, look at vanilla that. Vanilla bean is a little pricey. If you go to the spice section, um, there's usually like one of them in a jar, and it's more yes it's so expensive but it it's is. really really good and this is you one of those that? things that is... sorry Chris I'm talking over you go ahead I'm just letting them see this there you go and I'm just gonna throw it in there Chris yeah did you just do about like half an yeah. inch of it yeah. yeah right there yeah and then okay okay are that's, you good that's good that's not really what I meant but that's oh okay. I mean you're only gonna use yeah half of that and then cut that off Oh, <laughs> well, it's going to be real vanilla. -y. Yeah, boy, isn't it? <laughs> and then I want to put this in there, too. Yeah, then you're so you're going to put those beans in there, and then you're going to also put just, because we're going to strain it here in there a little bit. And um, so Not I, this. my whole point of going through that whole wonderful story about how they're kind of expensive is if you don't want to, you know, I think you should, because this is sort of a special occasion. Yeah. But if you if you don't want to totally understand that, then just go with vanilla extract, and you're going to use a tablespoon of that, and it's still going to be, Exquisitely yes, delicious. Yes. All right, we're going to do this just until we start to see <laughs> bubbles along the side. Then we're going to take it off the heat. Now, in, in the meantime, I've got a pot of water back here that I've got simmering. More on that in just a moment. Okay, so we're moving right along. So uh, we let that come to just a, a simmer. You don't want it to be a rolling boil. Uh, a lot of times you see the bubbles start to form on the outside, and then it starts to bubble. As soon as you see that, Take it off the heat. Take it off. Take it off. And then uh, cover it uh, with a tight fitting lid. And we're going to let this sit for 15 minutes. So it's been going, I'd say, about 10 minutes. Um, and now we're going to get our egg yolks together. So we've got six egg yolks. Keep your egg whites, make meringue or something like yeah, that. Um, yeah, or an egg white omelet. An egg white omelet. That's a good idea. <laughs> and get a nice large bowl um, and put your egg yolks in there and get a whisk. And now I've got a third a cup of just good old granulated sugar and um, this is where you could do this wow. you could do this in your stand mixer with the whisk attachment but i don't know i was feeling i'm a little glutton, <laughs> glutton for punishment so you're going to want to continue to whip these um with your whisk um until it gets really a, like a pale yellow wow. kind of color and um not many ingredients in this no it's it the, that's the simplicity and the beauty of it so continue doing this uh for probably about four minutes your arm's gonna get a little tired but that's okay <laughs> better you than me i know it's a good workout and then we're gonna temper these eggs yes. okay you see how they just got a little paler in color and it, it, get, it also thickens up just a little bit and my arm is throbbing but that's okay <laughs> i helped a little <laughs> bit okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to what's called temper the egg if you put too much hot liquid into this too quick without tempering it, meaning the kind of easing it, it's gonna scramble those eggs. And we do not want scrambled eggs. We want All a right. smooth custard. I'm gonna go very slow. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. You're, we're good. Do like a good dose of it and let me kind of get that incorporated mm -hmm. in. And that looks, and the f letting it sit for 15 minutes kind of cools it down just enough to where it's not gonna cause, the eggs are not gonna get upset and wanna start scrambling. That's okay. right. Okay, keep on going now. We're good. Once you get over the sort of like the, 
the initial, uh, you can pour more, the initial tempering, then then you can uh, start to add more. Now you'll see that vanilla that's in there. I get We're so gonna, nervous. I know you do. I can, I'm a very nervous I baker. I can feel your nervousness. I'm doing it, Chris. <laughs> Tell me when. You're good. Keep on adding it. We're in good shape We want now. this to be as smooth and silky as possible. <laughs> I know, just like you. <laughs> Keep I'm going. not that silky. Well, you're pretty smooth. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going. You're good. I'm you're going. Good. It's not going to curdle at the, or scramble at this point. All right. And we're done. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> now, this isn't really super hot anymore, so we're, what we're going to do to aid ourselves in transferring this into our ramekins, I'm just getting a nice large... Uh, measuring cup just to make pouring easier. Perfect. So let's talk about these ramekins. So these Here we're are put them right okay. Here. These are six ounce ramekins. Oh, I meant to show you. I've got. We've also got the little cute little creme brulee um, vessels that are that are very small, and and um, we've done that with those. But they're somewhere. These are fun. I know. I don't worry about it. So um, we've got. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You see, I mean, so cute. they're really, really cute. They don't hold, obviously. So this is a six ounce ramekin. This is what we love to do. You can, uh, we're going with four because we're going to fill them to the brim. We love all that vanilla custard. You could not fill them as much and easily get six out of these. Um, all right, let's do okay. it. And we're going to strain as we go. That's right. Here we go. Boy, this is a real strain. I'll tell you that. <laughs> should probably wait, wait. distribute this across six, yep. but Wesley loves the really big giant thick one, deep <laughs> ones. And I can't say Who I, doesn't? I don't object to it either. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and do this without uh, creating a problem. So now this is that hot water that we were uh, simmering. This is just a bath that just is, it just helps aid the even cooking of, of the custard. You're gonna wanna pour this in, and I test it before I figure out, okay, how much water do I need? You want the water to go up to about, about a, a third. A third of the side of the ramekin or the vessel that you're using, so that's close. I mean, if it went up to half, it's not gonna be, it's just, if you there get you it go. too full, it's hard to navigate it from here into the oven. Um, and then, Right on cue, we're going to cover this with foil. We've got our oven. Did you do? Uh, oh, here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our oven preheated to uh, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, we're going to let these cook until they just, just are perfectly done. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to get these out now. There's a little bit of eyeballing you have to do with this uh, to know when it's ready, and I'm going to try and not drop this all over the place. You got it. Should be terrible. Okay. Yeah, um, that would be horrifying. So, uh, again, it d d depends a little bit on uh, that's hot, so be careful. You got escaping steam. There we go. But that looks good. So, again, we we did these nice and thick. So you know, the more you have, the longer it could take um, to to get these, but you see They're how- still a little jiggly. And you want that, you, you want, want them right? to, be, to be a little jiggly. Um, that, so this- <laughs> Words to live by. I know, I know, I tell you, I, tell, I live that every day of my life. Um, so this went for about 43, 45 minutes. I checked it at 30, 35, it definitely needed to go a little longer. If you were doing them if, if with less custard in the ramekin, they'd probably take closer to like 35 to 40 minutes. But I'm gonna say anywhere from typically 35 on the low end, to 45 is where your time is gonna be. So now what we're gonna do is these are hot, so we're gonna let these just kind of cool off in this um, in this bath. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving this around. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're, once I can handle them, um, then I'm gonna transfer them to a like a something that you can stick in the fridge and they need to fully set. So you just gotta forget them. This is the worst part. Set them and forget them uh, for I'd say minimum, minimum of three hours, more like probably four hours. Oh, but yeah, then, yeah. And then right before you're ready to serve them, we're gonna make that sugar topping. And yeah, the rest torch them, torch them, baby. <laughs> Oh, we're about to have what I think is probably the, about the best dessert it in the is world. It's time for some creme brulee. We've waited so long. So now I have got, I've just got a Let's little a fine mesh sieve here. And I put, this is fine, extra fine sugar. It Give is me a fine. lot of it. And uh, you can find this in the 
No. Uh, oh yeah, let's use these. Let's save these two. Oh okay. Let's, yeah, let's do Sorry. these two. Oh, right I now. didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> he, he has a method to his I madness. Do. Um, anyway, the extra fine sugar, it's, I just like it because it melts uh, really, really nicely. And uh, it's so fine that it's just going right through the sieve. And you want to make sure you give yourself. Yeah, you want a nice um, thick coat. Another, I, I would say that's probably about, oops, fiddle. Wow. Oh. oh, that was close. I'm getting <laughs> oh, so excited. Chris, I know. Um, hold on, now i got to clean up. That was about two <laughs> tablespoons per brulee. Again, it depends on the size that you've got here. <laughs> anyway, all right. Excuse well, it, it's a party. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to flame. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. This is a really great flame, too. So, yeah, that, that is. Um, so, on that note, if you don't have one of these, you can... Um, Wow, that is powerful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you just kind of go around and you'll see the, the sugar start to melt and then it starts to form this, this layer that is just wonderful. And you want to keep going until it gets a nice amber color. But what I was going to say is if you're just desperate to make this and you don't have the blowtorch, the blowtorch really does make it just classic yeah, it creme does. brulee. But you can do this under the broiler. We've done that before. And you still get that crispy topping. You just, just doesn't quite get that effect, mm -hmm. but it's, it's so good. Wow, that looks there amazing. There go, people. That's Look classic. That. Oh my gosh, there that is go. so good. I got a little hand, uh, handsy on that one. Uh, that's, that's okay. I, I, I like kind of a darkness. Wow. Uh, but just be, do keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn, uh, but you do want it to get that those nice dark spots. All right, I'm so, going to take mine over here. It's hot on the top. It is. So, um, yeah, you want to let it sit for long enough, not long at all, so it gets that nice... Um, oh, oh tough, crispy uh, exterior. And you want to wait and do this right before you're serving your guests. So give it a little right. crack test and, and uh, <laughs> yeah, just needed it a little bit. Yeah, we waited. All right, Thursday. ready? I am, I am more than ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, y'all. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and that custard. You guys. It's always so nerve wracking. You're like, is it going to crack nice? I know, I know. Okay. Mm, I've got a big spoonful. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the combination, whoever, whatever chef pastry you guys, chef look at this. came up with this is just. Look at that creamy, creamy custard. That creamy, luxurious matched oh. against the sweet crunchiness is heaven. Heaven, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs dinner? I'm gonna start this whole thing down. Slow. Wow. That's amazing. That is. <laughs> uh oh, I feel I sent something. That was two hundred thousand percent one of wow. It's, it's so, so we're good. We're doing this for New Year's Eve. That is a good way to start wow. the New Year. Wow, you guys. Oh. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that is so, mm. I just love this so much. Mm. And I, I think it was a good call to do it in the mm. extra mm. big, mm. it's filler up. Mm. You guys, we love you so much. I if you're watching this on New Year's Eve, we Happy wish you New the Year. most beautiful, fantastic New Year. And 2024 is gonna be fabulous and so are you. Full of love and full of good food. Mm -hmm. right, bye everybody, <laughs> love you. <laughs>